Hello everybody, my name is Jamie and I am the Board Game Man and today we're going to look at a card game from Mattel Games. It's two to six players, ages seven and up. And it kind of has a gym rummy kind of feel to it, but it's not rummy. It is phase 10. And in this game what you do is each round has a, a phase that you must complete. Whether it's sets of cards, runs of cards, or the colors of the cards. The first player to complete all 10 phases wins, but there is a good chance that more than one player will finish all 10 phases, so the tiebreaker comes down to points, and we'll go over that right now as we head on over to the gamers table, and I'll show you phase 10. <laughs> Welcome to the gamers table. Uh, usually I show you the components of the game, but as you can see there's not much to it. Uh, you do have a set of instructions that come with the game and they're actually well written so you'll, you'll uh, understand them very very easily. You have a deck of cards here and then you have two phase reference cards and this will let you know what phase you are currently working on. Uh, now let me go over the sets. You see two sets of three, uh, then you have runs, and you also, well, color is pretty self-explanatory. It's the color of the cards. Because as you can see here, there are different colors of the cards. You've got blue, yellow, red, and green, and so on. So the colors are pretty easy. When it says seven cards of one color, obviously you need all the same color. Now a set means three of a kind, really. So you need to have like three threes, three fours, three sixes, and so on. And then you also have runs, and runs are in consecutive order. Two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, that kind of thing. So that's what runs are. So you can see in the very first phase, in the very first round, you're gonna have two sets of three. So what each player is gonna do is they're gonna to try to get two sets of three of a kinds. So let me go ahead and show you how this works. So first and foremost, what each player is going to do, we'll do a quick little two-player game. We'll do a few moves here to show you how it works. Is the dealer is going to take and deal 10 cards to each player. Then what you do is you're going to put the cards in the middle. Let me move these out of the way. We'll put these, usually you put these in front of all the players. Actually, there's only two of them back to back here. But uh, you can put them out where each player can see them. To that, just that way they can remember what they're going for. Because each round is different. And you're going to take the top card and make that as the discard pile. Now, in each turn, you're always going to draw a card to start off your turn, and you're always going to discard a card at the end of your turn. So let's see what player one has. Player one's on the bottom here. He's going for, like remember, two sets of three. So he's going for two three of a kinds here. So I'll put this here, that way you can remember. Okay, so he's going to look at his cards. And let me go over a couple more cards here, because obviously you see two special cards here. Wild card is, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. This can actually go, you know, in substitute for one of the cards you need. So say you need a two sets of three and you have two twos, you can use this to fulfill a third two. Or same with the colors, same with the runs. If you have a two, three, four and you need that five, well, guess what? There you go, you can use this as that. So it pretty much substitutes for one of the cards you need. You also have, I know I saw it in here, skip. There it is, a skip card. Now, if you're just playing a two-player game, all you do is you lay down the skip card in the discard pile. That does count as your discard. And, obviously, they just skip a turn. Now, if you have, like, a four-player game or three-player game, whatever, you lay down the skip, you get to choose which player skips a turn. So, it's not just automatically the next player loses a turn. It's whoever you choose to be. But, a player cannot be skipped twice in a row. So, say player three, you say, oh... Skip player three. You can't go skip player three again back to back. They have to have at least one turn in between being skipped again. So that's pretty much all the two little uh, the special cards that are in here are the skips and the wilds. That's the only other cards that are in there. So, okay, so we got two sets of three. So he's going to go ahead and take a look at this. And let's see, I don't think I have any of the same. My goodness. Well, I have two eights. So let me put this towards the front here. So we've got two eights. And that is pretty much it. Wow, okay. 
So what I do is I, did I draw a card already? No, I did not draw a card yet. So let me draw a card. We got a seven, okay. So let's see, so I got two sevens and two eights. So we're looking pretty close here. And what I can also do if I wanted to is use one of these wilds towards it. I can do that when the time comes. Um, so let's go ahead and put these eights together and the sevens together. So I have two sevens and two eights. I'll put this wild right behind here because I can use that towards one of them. And then what I want to do is I want to discard one of these cards. So let's say I'm going to go ahead and discard, uh, I guess any of these in the back I don't need. I'll discard the two. And now player one is complete. So now player two is going to look at his or her cards here. And we got a couple of 11s I see. So we're going to put the 11s together. And got a couple of nines there. So we got a couple of 11s, couple of nines. That's good. That's a good start. And let's go ahead and draw a card. Ooh, a wild. There we go. So actually, player two has the same kind of setup as player one. So that's interesting. And then we're going to go ahead and um, discard one of these numbers. We'll just put seven. Okay. All right. So we're going to do that. Now back to player one. Now you can take the discard pile, or I'm sorry, the discard card on the top, or you can choose a card. So what we're going to do, we're going to relook at this again. And I think you might know what I want to do here. I think I'm going to want to take that seven right there. That will work out perfectly for me. So what's going to happen is I'm going to take this seven as my card. And just like that, I have two sets of three. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and lay them down right now. So I have three sevens. Oh, you know what? Yeah, that's it. And three eights by doing the wilds, just like that. Okay. Now, as soon as I lay those down, now my objective now is to get rid of these cards. I want to get rid of these cards. And I'll go over the point scheme on those in one moment here. I was going to show that as soon as we finish the round. So now I want to dump a card. So let's go ahead and do 10. So I'm going to go ahead and dump the 10, and then my turn is done. Now, as you can see, player 2 still needs to complete that phase. So player 2 is going to look over here. And say we've got the 311s and the 29s here. We're going to go ahead and draw a card. Do they want a 10? Uh, you know, I don't know if I want a 10 or not, but I guess it wouldn't hurt to get that 10, just in case I get a 10. So he's going to go ahead and take the 10. All right. That way I get this. I can put these back here. And I'll go ahead and dump a 1. Okay. And that is the end of his turn. Now, player one is going to look at his cards, draw a card. And what I want to do is how you get rid of these cards is you want to add on to what's down here. So if I get another seven or another eight, I, want, I can actually play those cards and add them to here. This is where the gin rummy comes into play. Okay, if you played rummy, that's kind of what you kind of add. So that's how you get rid of the cards. So say I want to say, okay, I'm going to use the skip. So I use the skip. And that means player two loses a turn. It goes back to me again. So I'm going to go ahead and play a card here. Eight. Now that is a good card for me because that I can blade it down right here. So I'm going to go ahead and say, okay, I'm going to go ahead and discard the eight. There you go. So you can put that with that. And now I get to discard a card. So all because you play a card, you still need to do a discard. So that's when that comes into play. So I'm going to go ahead and dump. Uh, none of these, I guess none of these won't matter, so I'm going to put the 12. Now I'm down to three cards left, so it's getting down to the nitty-gritty. Player two is going to look at his or her cards. And see what we know. Hopefully he's hoping for a, a um, 10 or... Oh, actually, let's see. I got Where's my other 9? There it is. So I'm hoping for a 9 or 10 to get here. That way I can complete my phase. So he's going to draw a card. Draws an 11. Up oh, there you go. Ding, ding, ding. So go, he's going to go ahead and put his three 11s, and he's going to put three 10s. There you go. He has laid down that. All right. Now, now that both players have laid down a phase, you can start laying down these extra cards on any one of these. So say player, one, uh, two, player two had an eight or a seven, they can play their eight or seven on my on my um, runs here. 
same with same with me. If I get one that's in 10 or 11, I can lay it down on that as well. So that's when you really start laying down the cards. So now we're really going to be looking for 7s, 8s, 10s, and 11s when it comes in these packets. So right now he's uh, he played um, he played his phase, so now he gets to take a card out. He's going to go ahead and lay down the 3. Now his turn is done. So now player 1 is going to look at this. And yeah, look at this, 11. So he's going to draw a card. It's a 4. Can't get rid of the 4, but he got that 11. So he's going to go ahead and take the 11. He's going to add it to that. And now he's going to discard a card. Now I'm down to two cards. So now here comes player two. Player two is going to draw a card. He's got another six. That does not help him at all, unfortunately. So he's just going to go ahead and discard a card. But you want to be careful what you're discarding, because you know what I'm trying to get rid of here. And you don't want to, you know, you want to make sure that you can you drop down any cards you can. So he's going to go ahead and drop the six. He's done. Player two is going to look up. And he gets a 10. Oh, look at that. Boom, boom, boom. Here we go. He's going to play the 10 here. And he's going to discard the 1. I've got one card left. Player 2 looks at his four cards. He's going to go ahead and draw a card. It's a skip. He says, you know what? I need to catch up a little bit. I'm going to play the skip card. Boom. So he plays the skip card, and it's his turn again. So he's going to go ahead and... and you cannot draw um, a skip card, obviously, from the discard pile. Obviously, you can't do that. So just want a little FYI there. Okay, so you're going to bring up a... Uh, that's not going to help many at all. We don't have any 12s or anything like that to drop off. He's going to go ahead and discard the 12. And let's see if we can end this thing. That way I can show you how this ends. <laughs> I am going to cheat. Okay, here we go. So say he draws this card here, and he draws an 8. There you have it. So what he does is he's going to put the 8 here, and he discards the last card. Now, what happens is, I finished, he finished a phase. So, at the beginning of the next round, both players will go on to round 2. And you see that is one set of 3 and one run of 4. So it's going to be the same 3 of a kind, and then a run of 4, which means, like I said, 4 consecutive numbers, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on. But, now here's the difference here. You can see I have no cards left, so I will not get any points against me. And that's what you want. You want the least amount of points. It's like golf. Now, in this game, how player two is going to get some points because he has three cards left over. And then you get points for every card you have, but depending on what the value is. So you see in here, it'll tell you the scoring. You get five points for each card numbered one through nine. So he's got two of them here, so that's gonna be five plus five is 10. So he gets 10 points for those. 10 points for each card number 10 through 12. So he's gonna get 10 points for this. So right now, at the end of the first round here, he has 20 points toward his score. Now, if you have a skip card, for whatever reason, uh, still in your hand, that's worth 15 points. And if you have a wild card in your hand, that is 25 points. So you definitely don't want to get caught with that skip or the wild card. Because uh, that really damages your score. So, um, so, so in this case, after the first round, player two, you'd have a piece of paper. You'd have a little notepad. And you could put player two has 20 points and player one has none. And then what you do is you take these cards... I'm not sure if you reshuffle these together or just kind of start afresh. But in this case, we'll just start afresh. I'm not sure. I didn't even read that part to see if you have to reshuffle them all. But there's a lot of cards in here. So I don't think you probably have to. But you never know. I mean, you could you could reshuffle. And it's probably the best thing to do is reshuffle. But for this, I want to show how this works. So we're going to go ahead and once again, we're going to go ahead and do 10. And you put the cards in the middle. Put this face up. You're going to have a 2. And then this time, like I said, one set of 3 one run of four okay so let's put that here and let's see what we got so we got uh ooh, wow ooh, got a wild end skip that's cool so i've got two fives i'm going to put the two fives together in the front here do i have any other duplicates i don't have any other duplicates whatsoever here i could potentially use that wild is a third five, but I do have a run of four that I want to look into, too. And you can see I have two three here, so I'm halfway there on that. 
we got two and three. So let's do five and five together and two and three together. So I'm just about there almost. And I always say I have that wild card just in case. I also have 11, 12, 9, 11, 12, actually. So what I could do, depending on what I draw here, I could use this wild and use that for the 10. I've got 9, 10, 11, 12. That would really work out well. But let's see what I draw here. I drew another wild. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so that's something I can actually do. I can actually go, okay, well, here are my three fives. Let's do it this way. We're going to lay them out like this. There are my three fives, and here is my run of four. Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And I am going to skip your turn. Boom. So without player one and player two even playing a hand, you already got your set, or your, I'm sorry, your phase, phase two complete, and now you get another turn. He's going to draw a card. It's a four. Can't really help here. So go ahead and discard the four. Okay. Now player two finally gets a hand. Finally gets to look and see what he has here. And let's see. Ooh, look at that. Four, five, six, eight. But I also have two fours as well. And I also have a wild. So that is good to know. So let's see what I draw here. I draw a six. So I have so I have a couple sixes here. Very close to getting it done, but not quite there. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and drop a ten. Now, when the other when the player two, the only time you can drop cards, you can add cards as if you already have your phase complete. So say I had, you know, I can't go. Uh, let's see, let me see. Uh, da, 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 da. So I can't go, oh, look, I have an eight. Ha ha. No, you can't do that. Okay, unless you have a phase already complete. You cannot add to somebody else's cards unless your phase is complete. Just a little FYI on that. So now it's back to player one here. Player one is going to draw a card. Uh, he can't use this, so he's going to go back and forth. So you, you, you get the idea, you get the gist of it. But say, for instance, player one ends up discarding all of his cards. Say he went ahead and added, 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 and then he dropped his last card off. And player two had not completed his phase. What happens is, player two has completed their second phase, so the next round he's going to go into phase three. And of course, you'll count all the cards and all the points and all that stuff um, for player two. And then the next round... Player one will go on to round three, which is one set of four and one run of four. But then player two will still be going after phase two, okay, because a player two did not complete it. So that's where it comes into play. The faster you can get this done, sometimes the better. That way you can, you know, try to get rid of those cards fast before the other player even finishes their phase. Then they're behind a phase, and then it gets to be pretty difficult. So there, my friends, I think you probably get the gist of it, of how Phase 10 works. I think it's a cool game. I think it's a lot of fun. And let me show you the other uh, phases we got here. I'll, I'll put this up here. That way you can see it. So you can see the fourth uh, phase is one run of seven. So that's pretty tough there. So that's, uh, that's all the way through. Then you got one run of eight, one run of nine. That must be fun when you get to that part of it. Then uh, Phase 7 is two sets of four. Then you have seven cards of one color. And I think that's the only one that shows anything about color. Yeah, I think so. Um, the number nine is one set of five and one set of two. And the last phase is, let's see, one set of five and one set of three. So that's all the different phases that are in the game. And like I said in the intro, the first player to finish all 10 phases wins the game. And if there's multiple people that finished phase uh, the 10th phase at the same time, then you go to the points. And whoever has the least amount of points wins the game.